Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, subscribers and non-subscribers, thank you very much for checking out the video. My name is Arcane Insane, and we are doing a commentary video on Assassin's Creed 4 Multiplayer Competitive Deathmatch. And yes, right at the start of the video here, I get a little bit confused because I think that the puppeteer is ta is disguised as the um, uh, is it Jaguar over here. I'm not too sure what this guy's name is. I, mean, I don't know if he's a Jaguar or not, but he does his business and decides to leave, leaving me in utter confusion as to what the hell is going on. Puppeteer comes right behind my back, does me over silly, and we can now start the game. So yes. We're going to go chase after the puppeteer here, in case we get hurt as a target again, because the game does like to do that, but it doesn't. And we are going to get um, this guy. Um, and he decides to just go in the corner there, so I'm going to knife him, use the hidden group, and get a beautiful hidden kill to take first place. And um, I go into second place. So as you can see, it is a uh, competitive death match session. We've got a few familiar, familiar faces in the session. Some pros. It's a pleasure to be playing with these guys. Not too sure how I pull off that stun there, but whatever. We're gonna go back in here, and uh, yeah, we are gonna be depending. Oh, that was a nice kill. That was a beautiful kill. We are going to be depending on these noobs to try seal the deal um, in this game because we've got some brilliant players in here. PC is um, always competitive. It's a pleasure to be playing competitive. Yes, it does get a little bit frustrating at times, but that's not really the lobby. That's more of the contract system and the game itself. But yeah, we do love it. We do love it. Anyway, this guy here. What is he doing? He's running around like a noob. Now, oh, I don't know why I'm rolling firecrackers in this game, but one really funny thing is when I do roll these dodgy abilities, I do tend to play a bit better because I don't use them, which is one thing I've been testing out, trying to play competitive with no abilities. Just focus on the killing, focus working on my, um, you know, kills, trying to develop the kills, get them better because... Well, I'm, just, I'm actually learning how to play competitive, guys. I'm not joking, I'm not being... But anyway... Check this out. Just look at my look here. Got Nikita. Gonna accidentally get stunned here in the smoke bomb. And I'm gonna take full advantage of this. I'm going for that 450 hidden. But maybe we'll be able to go over the focus there. But like I said, yeah, really just trying to work on the kills, trying to develop them, get them better. Because to be honest with you, when it comes to AC4, I am struggling a little bit these days on how to play competitive. Um, I'm look at this. Look at this. Like here, for example, I've probably just gone for a focus, but I saw the hay bale, I jump in the hay bale, I get a 40 times to focus, you know, stuff like that, stuff like that. Now it might seem common sense to other people, but when you're under pressure playing against these people and you've got to put on a performance, things can get a little bit crazy. And this guy clearly seen my cornerstone videos, so we're not going to attempt that. And we're only going to go for a 100 point kill here. And I think we get the Lady Black jumping straight out the window. Boom! And if you saw my clip on Twitter, somebody did do me over with a um, booby trap over there the other day, which was at next level. Guys, no cuts in this match. This is the real deal. This is the whole thing. You're going to see everything. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here? Right, so I'm going to use this hay bale, hay bale here, because I've seen the pros do it. They all hide in this hay bale, and they can pull off some dirty hiddens. So we're going to try that, but um, it's going to fail because, as you said, these guys are pros. These guys ain't no messing around around here. And um, why I'm trying to look for my target, check this out. It's a dirty kill. Dirty kill by Gamer Arunda. But yeah, let's, let's, let's move on, let's move on, let's look for our next target. Yes, the abilities wise, usually I would use Disguise Time Phase. But then obviously I do see a lot of the players using firecrackers and firecrackers screws me over guys every single time. They all get me with it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it myself. But I, as you can see, it's not working out for me and I'm going to switch my abilities and I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it because I've got six cents. Six cents has really been helping me um, identify my pursuers and my targets. But it's not good depending on that stuff. So we're going to be getting away from that soon. Now the game's actually been quite nice to me with only one pursuer. Oh guys, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna joke. I'm not gonna lie here because Oh check this is quite nice. This is quite nice. I don't really know if it's down to lag or what, but we'll just say we're gonna call that perfect knife son. 
And that was a bit of a naughty tone, I do apologise about that. But yeah, I'm not joking guys, my control pad... Now I'm not blame. a worksman never blamed his tools here, but there have been a lot of incidences where I go to trigger my bottom buttons and it triggers the top button. And it uses my abilities, and I don't mean to use my abilities, but um, yeah. So we're going to try and get a kill on Nikita here, but she times a beautiful, beautiful smoke bomb. And I'm going to get stunned, so... That was that, that is the end of that. That was nice. And, and, and I do respect these smoke bomb players because I can't turn the smoke bomb. Blood, yell, yeah, huntsman. Please. I'm going to have to heal there. That's Valderon. He's made, well, he's doing what he's supposed to do in competitive, and he's supposed to rush around a bit and get some kills. Because when it comes to competitive, it is hard to actually build up your kill. So it's better to rush in there and get the quick kill. So we're going to try and get a kill on him here. And is that a times two? No, it's not, but it's a 350 kill. We'll take it, we'll take it, and I, I do like this place here. The only problem is with this place, is that I always forget about the window, and they come in there and they do get a nice kill on me. Anyway, one pursuit at three minutes, 57 of the clock, we have got Buffett here to go and kill, so bloody hell. Seriously. And that is how you do it, guys. That is how you do it. I am not the Batman anymore. I am not aware of my situations. I'm not mounding my surroundings. We're on Sergio, who has changed his name to that, which I'm not going to try to pronounce. Sergio, great guy, great player, absolute phenomenal player. Been really enjoying playing with that guy over the last couple of days. That guy's a beast, but this, well, just give me a chance, just give me a chance to get the kill. Now, I do believe I'm actually in second place here now. I don't want to see your face anymore. There we go. Oh, I'm still in first place. We are on, uh, you know, I've forgotten the names of these guys, you know. I'm not joking, I've forgotten the name of these guys. Even though that is a character all the way back from AC3, the Night Stalker. Oh, another dirty kill on me there. Ooh. That's a good kill by him. That is a very good kill. Now I'm in third place, but it's close. It's very, very close. So, not to, to worry, we're on the Lady Black again. I'm Sergio. I, I started to get to know Sergio, I think, from AC3. Um, Night of the Gladiators. What a, what a game that was. That What a night that was. I think there was three matches, competitive deathmatch matches. And I think I got to know him from there. An honor as always. And why I just keep getting this... Oh, I'm just going to rush it. That, that's what you do, guys. That is what you do. You just have to rush it. And poach um, the Huntsman there. And jump back into this hay bale, see if we can get lucky. Because we always know that a bit of luck is required in the game. Oh, there she is, there she is, we're going to move in here. Oh, and I, I get, here we go, look, knife, hidden, beautiful group there. Just going to go for the focus, and we take the lead with variety, I believe. And now I'm just turning around, looking for my, um, uh, I get a nice corner stun here on the Huntsman. That was pretty decent, that was pretty decent. And yeah, I think that might be enough to um, secure the win here. I was going to go for a cheeky hidden, but look at the contest, so it's good I didn't do that. And like I said, you got to rush the kills there. One minute 35. I'm going to jump in this hay bale again. <laughs> yeah, jump in the hay bale, guys. Where is this guy jumping through the window? I don't know where he is. Here he is. Where is he? I can't see him. I think I'm going to die here. Oh, that was stupid. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to throw down time phase. But he's, he sees it. I don't know how he sees it. That's pretty good from a new player. Then again, I bet some of these PC players aren't really new. They're just on new accounts. And I mess up there. Well, 7,325 points. Uh, I think that is enough, guys. Absolute brilliant competitive deathmatch session. Guys, I just really want to thank everybody for the support on my previous videos. The likes, the views, everything, guys. Thank you so much for it. It really does mean a lot. And I do appreciate that so much, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Couldn't ask for more. You guys are great, great subscribers, great friends, great community. Um, you guys are brilliant people. So thank you so much for that. And thank you all for the invites again on PC. It's a pleasure to be on PC um, playing with you guys. It's absolutely awesome. I do um, I do manage to get one more kill here. We've only got 20 seconds left. I'm going to get a contested. And I do manage to get back in the game on the last second. 
I get a kill just to get one more hundred points because every point matters. Every point matters when it comes to competitive deathmatch. So yeah, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching the video. Until next time, take care and stay safe. Goodbye!